Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a long, long, long overdue like Black Friday slash Cyber Monday slash November, December shopping. I'm going to be sl splitting this video up into two different segments. One, the first one's going to be beauty and then the second one is going to be like clothes. So let's just hop into it because I have this whole box. I just decided to throw it all into this box and it's all full of makeup that I have bought um, mainly on Black Friday and just like Cyber Monday. So yeah, let's get started. I guess I'll start off with is something kind of random. Um, and it's just this like uh, plate. You can see like my camera and everything. Um, it's for like foundation and anything like that. It came with like a little spatula. Um, I'm mainly going to use this once I start like later later on um, doing makeup on people and also just for myself. Um, I just wanted to have one of these because I felt like it was a kind of a necessity. I don't know. It's just something nice to have, you know. And I don't know where I'm going to set all this. Well, let's just do uh, Gerard Cosmetics. So I have quite a few things. I was supposed to get a package from them yesterday that I was going to include in this video. But... Um, I guess they were delayed. I, I don't know. So, I don't uh, have it yet. It was just a bunch of glosses, but whatever. We'll get over it. So, first I'll go over all the glosses that I got. Um, so, first I got the shade Buttercream, which just looks like this. And then I got the shade Rose Hill. Which looks like this and then I also got the shade shimmer of hope which looks kind of similar to um shimmer or buttercream but they're slightly oh I'm showing you all the mirror this ain't gonna help if I show you the mirror they slightly look different when you swatch them so there's a slight difference but I would just choose one or the other if you're really gonna just choose one nude gloss to wear and then let's see I got the shade nude and the lipstick and then I got the shade Buttercup. I have a lot of them. Uh, the shade Cherry Cordial, which is a beautiful dark shade. I haven't worn this one yet, but I'm super excited to wear it. I'm surprised I haven't yet, but I've been wearing 1995 instead. I also have Fire Engine, which is just this really nice like red. Last but not least, $19.95, which is what I am wearing on my lips right now. Uh, it's something just random. It's like a drugstore thing that I picked up at Target. I decided to throw it in. I just basically threw in this box everything that I bought makeup-wise in the past couple weeks. Um, and so this is the Sonia Kashuk tin Tinted Moisturizer. I got in the shade Beige. I really like this. I wear this on my lazy days. It's like really nice. Um, I like it. It's a nice coverage. It's just nice for every day if you don't want to wear full-blown foundation and all that other stuff. I usually like wear this and use like the Physicians Formula Super BB uh, powder um, as like my setting powder just to add a little bit more coverage. Uh, let's see. All right, so now and then this I got from Ulta and then the rest will be from Sephora and I got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. Um, it's like a foundation type thing where it says neutralizing correcting cream, but you can use that as a, like an all over foundation if you want. I believe this is the full size. I don't know. I got it in a pack and it came with also this It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder, which I used a few days ago and I really like it. It's really nice. Um, both of these are really nice. It's hot. And also you can't tell in this, but my hair is red. I dyed my hair red. It's like, it looks dark in certain lightings and then sometimes it looks really, really bright in like the sunlight, but it's really gloomy today and probably gonna rain. So yeah. And also another new thing is I am filming on a new camera. If y'all notice like a slight difference in the camera quality and sorry if I keep on looking above because it fin I finally have a camera with a, uh, like a viewfinder and it's the Son Sony, uh, Alpha one, I think. Alpha 500, 5000 or something like that. I'll list it down below, but I got that also for Black Friday, and that's what I've been waiting on mainly because Best Buy took like two weeks just to ship it out, and like another week to actually arrive. 
because I guess they were so bombarded. So like I completely understand because I order on Black Friday when everyone else is ordering stuff from them. So I understood. So I was kind of waiting on this and all my packages to come through. So that's why it took so long. That's why it's like almost Christmas and I'm posting my Black Friday hauls. And then next from this, the rest is from Sephora. And so I got this NARS uh, Virtual Dominant uh, Cheek uh, like Palette thing. I think that's called. Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. Yeah. And it basically it looks like this. It's so beautiful. It comes with um, the shade Miss Liberty, Deep Throat, Laguna Bronzer, uh, Sex Fantasy, and uh, Final Cut. And those are the shades. And then also I got uh, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I've been using for the past month or so. Um, I love it so much. I am, I'm in the shade Dawn. It's a really, really nice foundation. I like it. It was worth the money, I think. And I got this, which I think everyone should get, especially if you use a beauty blender or if you just like use a lot of makeup brushes and need to clean them like really, really good. Um, and it's the Beauty Cleanser Solid, um, or a solid uh, blender cleanser. So it looks like this. And they also have a liquid one, which I haven't tried yet, but I might. This is kind of pricey. It was like $20, I think. But I think it's worth it. It comes in like, it's like a soap bar. Like, and this comes out onto like a little tray. And I used this to clean all my beauty blenders. And they went back to their normal color. Like I had a purple one. It was completely orange. And it went back to the, like, brand new the brand new purple color and that had like the real techniques one that went back to its normal orange color and then i even used it on some of my brushes that are like permanently practically stained from like makeup and it washed it right out so i definitely recommend this if you want to invest in a very nice makeup slash beauty blender cleanser because you can use these for both <clears throat> and then i also got this uh kit it was the occ lip tarts uh, in the matte shades. So I got the shade, does it say the shade? It's on them. Harlot, which is like a nice matte, like classic red. Nylon, which is like a bubblegum pink color. And then also Trollop, which is kind of like a coral shade. And then next is something that I was very, very happy about, but I was kind of bummed because they came in, uh, mini sizes i thought they were full sizes but for the price that i was paying i should have known that it wasn't going to be a full size and it's the kat von d uh, liners oh my god i swatched these on my hand the first night that i got them and i washed my hands a million times and they didn't come off till like two days later like i had like just a bunch of lines like going down my hand for like days um so let's see so i have the shade proud peacock which is like a beautiful like green shade and I also have um, the shade Homie, which is like a purple shimmery shade. Let's see. I'm trying to make it focus, but... Eyegasm, which is just like a nice emerald green, slightly different from the peacock one. And then I also got all these for $25 uh, in a pack. Then... Uh, Puro Amour. I don't know. It's just like the matte black one. I think I already have this one. And then it came with like seven, I think. And then let's see. A Black Metal Love, which is just like a black with like some um, yeah, it's not focusing, whatever. Um, like some gold or like shimmery specks in it. And then PF, which is like uh, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but they're so buttery, though. Oh, it's, like, kind of, like, a purple. But they're so nice. Oh, my God. Okay. Then, last two, uh, Immortal Love, which is just a nice matte brown color. And then, D-A-R, which is just a nice blue color also. And let me just, I'll just swatch a couple of these for you. Like, look at how pigmented that is, or, like... I'll do some of the crazy colors. Just to show y'all how pigmented those are. Like, oh my god. And then, let's see, next thing was also a set, which I got for like... 
I want to say $20 maybe, but they are the Sephora Glitter Eyeliners, I think is the name of them. I don't know, but they look like this. Um, I got a five pack and I wanted to try like the Urban Decay uh, metal like glitter liners, but those are very, very expensive. So I decided to go for these because I read the reviews and they were compared to the Urban Decay ones. Um, so I have the shade Evening Blue, which is just this really pretty like blue color and then sweetheart pink which is just this beautiful pink glittery color mystic teal VIP gold These are so beautiful. And then Majestic Purple. That's it for this haul. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below any other video suggestions y'all want to see or just any like comment. Just comment. I'll almost 99% sure that I will reply because I get the, the comments sent to like my email and stuff so like I instantly see whenever y'all subscribe to me or like comment on my video so I'm always reading comments and all that so y'all have a great day bye <laughs>